Hello, party people. Today is the last video for my 30 day challenge. I'm actually late on this last video. I've been late on the like past week, basically. Like, I've been uploading the morning, my time, night in the US, and it sinks, but we're doing it. I mean, at least one upload every like 36 hours ish. I still believe I put out the 30 uploads. So, yeah, like you could see. Here, my last few videos have been similar to this where I'm just like on the spot going. This vlog, shout out to Jack for helping me through <laughs> getting like a lot of the work done for my bigger vlogs. This this was a really great combo and then it just got muted. Like I really enjoyed making a lot of these, honestly. And I found like what works, what didn't like things like this really worked in terms of thumbnails. Um, this one got a bunch of views too. I really like this thumbnail too up here. Yeah, where did I start? I started. Was it this one? No, no, it was this one. Living with the dark cloud. That was my first one. And then I was just like, all right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, times four, eight, nine. Yeah. So, I mean, I did above 30. I started this sometime in the middle of of or towards the end of May and then I was like all right like I can't skip any time after June and yeah what I've learned throughout this whole process is I mean I've always known this but you're happiest when you're creating but it takes the most out of you for sure you know you could watch YouTube videos for hours I've definitely taken days when I was younger where I just sit and watch YouTube on my weekends and it was so sad but um that's like something that isn't as um, effective towards your future as well. It isn't pushing the boundaries of your creativity. Like some days I would have no idea what I was going to make a video on. And I was just like, all right, like let me write down 10 ideas right now, execute on eight of them. So that's how like, I came up with this bin app idea um, or the vlogging out in public. I was just like, you know, what? like I should do this. And it was a lot of cool stuff. This time I oh, oh, damn, that one's sick. Um, the trenches video, I was just like, all right, like I need to record what my life looks like every day of like me just coming in, working, getting stuff done. Um, as you see, I've lived in this jacket and my other jacket, basically. I only have two jackets here in Australia because it's been getting cold here. But um I'm glad that like we've actually hit like around like like three people have watched every single video. These last couple, like we've gotten 20 views. Someone actually commented on this one saying like great job man i'm gonna respond to him actually be like thanks for the support means a lot for it right. the future um maybe i should even post twice a week but I'm as I mentioned in the daily journal thing, I'm like, I have to move pretty soon. So I have no idea what my life will look like in literally two weeks, which is insane to me. And I've kind of always lived like that, where I change my living situation very fast and very drastically. And it's what keeps me on my toes. It's what keeps me progressing myself every day. And that's what this whole challenge was about, was just about progression. And really just trying to push myself. I knew I could do 30 day challenges before I've done it with designing. And this one was I'm trying to think like this one definitely was more effort just because I would have to first record the video. That's at least 10 minutes of work. Like sometimes I would design for two minutes, post on Insta and be done. But, um, and I would hate some days. Some days I'd be like, I really have to do this. But, um, this, push to my limits as well i feel like doing like one 30 day challenge every year in terms of creation and social media really can like help you see where you want to put your efforts in um some people like matt develop do them every month they do like a 30 day or a week challenge every month but um i mean i'm challenging myself just by like living in another country and like trying to figure out my living scenario up north but um this has been an epic time Posting every day, the YouTube algorithm really likes you. 
and you see what content your audience likes and what content your audience doesn't like. This was clickbait here. Like I assume nobody watched that all the way through. Um, this one actually I really liked making this. Things like this where I'm kind of just spewing didn't work as well. Um even things like this, you know. And I've learned how to basically um delegate work. Like my friend actually edited and uploaded this one. Uh I all these big vlogs I delegated the editing to. I mean again, shout out to Jack. He's been a huge help. And if he's watching this right now, like couldn't have done this without you, dude. Um, if you need an editor, please hit me up and I will send you over to Jack. He's a sick ass editor and he's based in the US time zone. And I don't know. This got a lot of views too. This this video did so well. And this was his first one. He was trying to get the gig. He really blew it out of the park with this. I think also I filmed it great there. Um, I got to just do more vlogs like that. Maybe I'll do one today. Who knows? But um, it's crazy to think we've progressed this far. 30 days. This is the last upload. I would highly suggest if you're thinking about doing this, do it. Um, you don't have to take it as seriously as you think you do. I'm probably four years from now going to archive half these over half these videos. But for now, I'm just going to leave them up, let them rank however they want to rank. Um, if people really want to watch these types of videos, they can. They can see what my earlier content was like. I feel like that's very, very useful. Like one YouTuber I follow, or I used to follow very, very heavily. I went back to his channel to see, oh, can I like look at his older content, see how he started out with like 100 subs. And he actually archived all that content. He still has it available. If I, I, I could reach out to the guy, be like, "Hey, can you send me this specific video?" And he probably will. However, it's, and he's done like a hundred and sixty days of like once a day uploads, you know, and that's insane to me. Even Alex Ramosi, he's done like three years of constant uploads, not just to YouTube but to podcast platforms and everything. So, I mean, I could definitely keep going with this ever since I was a kid basically wanted to be a YouTuber. So I feel like, did I even post that video? Like me trying to be, Oh yeah, this one. Yeah. If you want to see where the journey started out, go watch that. And basically being like, I'm not going to give up this time. I won't be a perfectionist. And a lot of this just it goes through my thoughts throughout my time in this month. This has been a crazy month starting out with, a lot of um, burnout towards the beginning. I was like pretty burnt out right around here. And then like got energy and then had client projects for my design business and got busy with that. And just then here I was getting pretty good at the automation of it. It's just like, all right, like let's just turn these out every week. And I realized, oh, thumbnails don't need to be perfect. Like, I don't know why this one did so well. The thumbnail is like, I've, not even edited. I just let YouTube like pick a thumbnail for me, and they're like, "All right, this this scene looks cool." Um, I guess my facial expression on there. I'm tired. Like the skate park kind of looks cool behind me. <laughs> this video too with my dog. Um, yeah, this was the journey started when I started to travel. I really hope that every piece of content I inspire someone. If someone's watching this and it's just in inspired, please leave a comment below. If you're gonna start your own 30 day challenge, like highly recommend. Um, just keep at it. You don't have to edit the videos. Just even if you're somewhere for 10 minutes, take out your phone, record, post it. Simple as that. A couple of these I just posted straight from my phone. Like this one posted straight from my phone. This one. And wasn't a huge deal. They actually this one still did like <laughs> so good. Actually, I didn't even realize that clown busting in Indonesia did really well. So yeah. Continue exploring, guys. Follow me at talon.in.color. Or oh, let me pull up everything. So hoo.be slash talon is where you can find all my links. Talon in color is my Instagram. And then escape your hometown for travel content, basically. 
And obviously, subscribe, like, comment if you're inspired, comment how, what types of videos you'd like to see me put out since I'm going to be putting out fewer, definitely. I really want to make sure it's content you guys really like. Comment that below and hope you have an epic day.